Hey what's up guys, glad you could join me for today's video. On today's truck history episode, we will be looking at part 1 of the history of Tatra trucks. Now let's get started. Tatra Trucks is one of the most famous Czech engineering companies and can be proud of the longest uninterrupted tradition of wheeled vehicle production in the world. Not too long ago, Tatra celebrated the 170th anniversary of its establishment. Over the last few years, Tatra Trucks has already commemorated several historical milestones. In 2017, the company celebrated 120 years since the production of the first passenger car with an internal combustion engine. A year later, Tatra Trucks saw 120 years since the creation of the first motor truck produced in Kopri Vinza. Tatra Trucks celebrated 100 years of the Tatra brand, and 2020 is associated with the 170th year of the company's existence. However, Tatra's trade name, status, and owners have changed several times in the past, but the continued production of vehicles and the location of its factory has remained unchanged. Tatra is one of the oldest vehicle manufacturers with a continuous history in the world and one of the oldest manufacturers of trucks and passenger cars with internal combustion engines in history. In June 1850, the long history of the company known today as Tatra Trucks began to be written. At the time, the local native Ignac Sustala started his business in Koprovinza. First, he manufactured carriages and chariots. Later, he started production of railway wagons. In 1897, the company created the first passenger car, named President. And a year later, the first motor truck drove out of the gates of the Koprovinza factory. One of the most important milestones in the history of the Tatra company is the year 1923. The world famous Tatra designer Hans Ledvinka then designed a unique chassis system known as the Tatra concept, which consists of a central load carrying tube and axles with independently suspended swinging half axles bolted together into a single unit. This solution has been successfully used until today. The famous aerodynamic cars stand for yet another fundamental contribution by Tatra to the history of motoring before the Second World War. Tatra was the first in the world to mass produce and sell passenger cars with aerodynamic bodies in the 1930s. These were the famous T-77, T-87, and T-97 models. However, Tatra also engaged in the production of trucks, mainly the widespread T-27, T-82, T-85, or T-72 types. These vehicles formed the backbone of the then Czechoslovak army and were widely used in other countries too. Tatra also continued to produce vehicles for railway transport, an example being the unique motor passenger M290 Slovenska Strela train, which has survived to this day and is currently undergoing a demanding renovation. Tatra also produced airplanes and aircraft engines, an example being the T101 201 series sports aircraft, which were the direct predecessors of the famous Czechoslovak post war aircraft Zlin Trenner series. The T101 type even held the Czechoslovak record in terms of distance traveled when his crew flew with it in 1938 to Kardom in Sudan. After the Second World War, Tatra became the main manufacturer of heavy trucks for civil and military use in Czechoslovakia and supplied tens of thousands of vehicles to countries and almost all continents. The Tatra brand's very good reputation was spread in dozens of countries by the T111, T138, T148, TA13, and TA15 types. In addition, the production of limousines with an exceptional technical solution and original bodies continued. These were T600 Tatra Plan, T603, or T613 types. Tatra also built racing cars, which celebrated success on many racing tracks. One that is noteworthy was T607 Monopost, built according to the specifications for F1 cars, or T602 Sport, or T605, with racing variants of trucks. Since 1980s, Tatra has been regularly and successfully participating in prestigious long-distance marathons such as Rally Dakar, Silkway Rally, or Africa Eco Race. The company entered the 1990s and the new economic environment with production based mainly on the well-known TA15 model line. At the beginning of that decade, the Tatra trademark was granted the status of a famous trademark by the Czech Industrial Property Office. The set of Tatra trademarks, today registered in more than 100 countries around the world, thus forms an important part of Tatra Truck's value. The year of 1998 was another turning point since the production of passenger cars was terminated. Since then, the company was focused exclusively on trucks and special vehicles for civilian and military use, which has become the cornerstone of its production and sales portfolio. In the last decade of the 20th century, 
Tatra gradually began to penetrate to other markets, where customers require specific modifications and versions of vehicles. Thus, Tatra began to install engines and transmissions of foreign origin in its vehicles. The expansion into new markets was also helped by the development of Tatra vehicles in the colors of the Czechoslovak Army and U.S. Army in the military operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm in Iraq during the early 1990s. In the middle of the decade, the experience from the Middle East was reflected in the T-816 LIWA project, thanks to which Tatra won the first large contract outside the traditional markets. It was in this project that Tatra used foreign components, such as engines and gearboxes, according to customer requirements for the first time. Important for the president of the Koprivinsa company was the year of 2004, when two completely new model lines saw the light of day, namely the T815-7 Force and the T810 Tactic. In the construction of both types, the designers based their plans on the requirements for modern military vehicles. Already for several years, they have gradually become the backbone elements of the logistics capabilities of the Czech army. However, they also found their important place in the civilian sphere, especially among firefighters and rescuers. The most significant milestone in the operation of the Koprivinsa factory over the last decade was its takeover of Czech owners in 2013. The company was restructured and stabilized, and a connection to the leading Czech holdings, Czechoslovak Group and Promet Group, through their owners has been established. Thanks to this, Tatra brand is perceived by customers as a reliable business partner, and the Czech public considers it part of the national heritage. This is evidenced, among other things, by regular placements in the first places in the public polls, the brand that Czechs are most proud of, and the traditional Czech brand. The main parts of the unique Tatra chassis system are central load carrying tube and independent swinging half axles bolted together in a single unit. This system is often described shortly as a backbone tube or body on frame chassis. In any case, the drivetrain shafts are situated in the central tube and they are thus protected against external damaging effects. In addition to the drive shaft protection, this concept also offers other pros. Most importantly, the overall principle is inherently modular and hence, it can be used for relatively easy chassis construction with different number of axles. Naturally, trucks with 4, 6, or 8 wheels are most common, but Tatra also supplies its customers with the cars equipped with 10 or 12 wheels. However, vehicles with 16 wheels have also been produced. As a rule, such special vehicles are designed with all axles, driven with several of them also steerable. These long Tatra trucks are nicknamed Dax Huns or Centipedes, and they are generally used as bogies for special applications in military and civilian sectors. Naturally, the system with central backbone tube and swinging half axles offers high output in difficult terrain, which ranks Tatra vehicles to the absolute top in global comparison. The advantages also include high stability when driving fast, even on corners, on slopes, and with heavy loads. The chassis are designed with great resistance to extreme terrain and climatic conditions, which will be appreciated again by military and civilian customers, who demand the full functionality of vehicles in all environments. In addition to the chassis concept itself, Tetra also stands out by being eventually the only company in the world today to produce and install its air-cooled truck diesel engines, V8, V10, and V12 of Euro 3, 4, and 5 standards, without any electronic injection systems. In series, Tatra Trucks prepares even air-cooled V8 and V12 engines of Euro 6 standard. At this time, this solution is also one of the typical features of Tatra vehicles. Although since long ago, Tatra Trucks company has offered its customers the option to use liquid-cooled units. Therefore, many exported vehicles have Dutz, Cummins, or Packer engines. However, some users still prefer air-cooled units. For example, the Czech Army or customers from Central Europe, Australia, Russia, and several more. In general, Air-cooled engines can work well over a wider temperature range, making them more suitable for extreme temperature conditions. As a concrete example, we can mention excellent experiences with Tatra engines in racing trucks, traditionally participating in Rally Dakar, or Czech and Slovak soldiers' experiences from the Desert Shield and Desert Storm military operations. The Czech Army's Tatra trucks performed great because their engines maintained perfect functionality, even in the desert. High temperatures simply didn't affect the vehicles, and the problem with dust and sand was solved by replacing the suction filters. The US Army was impressed, and it bought a number of Tatra T813 and T815 trucks from the defunct East German Army, and it operated them on its Middle East Army bases. At present, Tatra Trucks manufactures four standard model lines on three chassis platforms and cooperates with the companies of the Czechoslovak Group Holding on the development of special military vehicles. 
the Tatra Phoenix model line has been a key element of the civil production program of heavy trucks since 2011. It uses a combination of the chassis of the Tatra concept and construction groups of renowned world manufacturers. Tatra Force is designed primarily for the armed forces, firefighters, and rescuers but is also used in the mining and construction industries. The Tatra Tactic business line consists of medium-sized trucks with a ladder frame with rigid portal axles of Tatra's own design and is designed primarily for military purposes. The Tatra Terra business line is a successor to the legendary TA-15 model. The basis is again made of the original Tatra chassis, a modernized cab, and air-cooled Tatra engines, and Tatra gearboxes. Terra vehicles are designed primarily for firefighters and the construction industry. Although throughout the existence of Czechoslovakia Tatra trucks were exported mainly to other countries of the Eastern Bloc and to the friendly states of the Third World, they also managed to attract customers in the West. The promotion of the Koprovinca trucks was also greatly helped by the previously mentioned participation in the Rally Dakar and their deployment in Desert Shield and Desert Storm operations. Thanks to these, the Western Army's representatives could also get acquainted with Tatra military vehicles. It is known that these vehicles left a great impression on them and they proved to be fully comparable with everything produced by even the most advanced Western automakers. Heavy trucks and chassis for special applications, manufacturing is really a demanding and specific job, as evidenced by the fact that only a small number of states and companies have been capable of producing and supplying them. Few people realize that Czech Tatra Trucks Company belongs to a very small group of manufacturers who can produce heavy multi-axle bogies designed to fulfill special tasks and fit for use in every difficult external conditions. There are probably only 10 such companies in the world today. So there is part 1 of Tetra Truck History. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Part 2 will come out soon. Before you leave, like the video, subscribe to our channel, click that notification bell, and comment below. What did you think of part 1? Need new parts for your rig? Check out our website at jackschromeshop.com as we have a wide variety of products. If you can't find what you're looking for, give us a call or send us an email and we'll help you find what you need. Thanks again guys for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, if your rig don't shine, you don't know Jack.